Hello and welcome to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks and I am a craft producer here with Makers Gonna Learn. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create an SVG out of a drawing. So if your kiddos are budding artists, mine clearly are, then you can create awesome SVGs with their drawings. Or if you have a recipe or some handwritten note or something like that, that you want to memorialize by putting it on a tea towel or a sign or something like that, you can definitely do that just by taking a picture of it and importing it into Design Space. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do that today. So all you're going to need is a picture, you're going to need your phone or camera, and then we're just going to be importing it into Design Space. So I have my photo here, and I just want to go ahead and take a picture with my camera. Now, one thing with the lights here in the studio, I'm gonna have all sorts of um, shadows on my picture. So if I were to take it right now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this then I would have this shadow around here and that will make removing the background a little bit difficult. So definitely make sure when you're taking your photo that you are creating one similar to this that doesn't have any shadows around it. It's going to really help with the end result. So once you have one like this, then you're probably going to wanna to edit it just a little bit. So what I do is just increase the exposure, um, just brighten it up a little bit. You can increase the black point as well. If your Sharpie or pen or something like that isn't super bold, that will help. You just want a good contrast so that when you pull it into Design Space, you have um, excellent differentiation between the two colors so that you can remove your background. Once you have um, your picture taken, then you're going to wanna to email it to yourself, or if you use Design Space on your phone, that's perfect. Since I'm using Design Space on my desktop computer, I'm just gonna email this to myself, I'll save it to my desktop, and then I'll import it into Design Space, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Over here in my email, you can see I've emailed it to myself, and I went ahead and downloaded this. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. Let's see if I can just drag and drop it over here. There we go. And then what I'll do is open up Design Space and then I can drag this here into Design Space like I'm uploading just a regular cut file. And you can see it's asking me if I want it simple, moderately complex or complex. I always choose complex. And then I'm going to press continue. And then if we zoom out here, you can see my whole photo is here, but I just wanna come over here and grab this little magic tool here, and I'm going to select this background layer. And you can see it all removes. Oh, amazing. Then I'm going to select here again, and then I'll select here again. And so you can see now, if you had all of those shadows on your photo, um, how it could be more difficult. You would have to go in, instead of just pressing those three, um, pressing three times to remove that, then I would have to remove all the shadows in any place that wasn't just a simple black and white image. Now that I'm finished with that, I can press continue. And then I'm going to save it. Oh, you can see right here, there were a few little shadow marks, even with the precautions that I took. So maybe what I wanna do is just press back and then I can zoom out again so that I can see what's going on. And I would just grab the eraser tool like this. We'll make it a little bit bigger here. And then I would go in and erase all of those extra little pieces. So this can be a little bit time consuming, um, but it's totally worth it. It makes an absolutely beautiful project. Okay, and once you have it all cleaned up, you can select save as print then cut image or save as cut image. And I personally like to save them all as cut images. So that's what I'm going to select. And then I can press save. Now I can just insert this into my canvas just like normal and I can go ahead and cut this out just like this if I want to, or if I wanted to kind of slice it up, if I had a picture that um, maybe I wanted the smile to be a different color or something like that, then you can go in and slice the image up. I'm just going to do one piece for you um, so that you can change the colors. So since I want to do the smile, I just put an image over the smile at a uh, oval and then I'll select both of the layers and then I'm going to press slice 
and then I can delete the slice results that I don't need. So I don't need that and I don't need this. But now, since this is a different layer, I could change the color of his smile to red, or his frown rather, because Beckett wanted a frowny face. Um, of, so I could change it to red if I wanted to. Um, so it's so easy to do that. It looks amazing, it cuts amazing, and you can use this on pretty much any medium now. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to turn a drawing into an SVG or cut file in Design Space. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you would enjoy the rest of our tutorials as well. If you are not a subscriber here on YouTube of Makers Gonna Learn, go ahead and hit subscribe. Turn on notifications so that you get notified each time we post a new video. We post new videos with lots of inspiration and education every single day. If you're not familiar with our actual membership, which which is the bread and butter of what Makers Gonna Learn is, then we offer a subscription-based membership to die cut crafters, not just cr cricketers, that gives you access to our library of thousands of cut files and fonts in addition to all sorts of education, member-only videos, and wonderful courses that help you really learn your, your machine and how to build a business through your die cut machine. We also offer a wonderful new 30-day challenge that really helps you as a beginner crafter open your Cricut, set it up, learn all the terminology, learn everything in design space you need to know, and even create a project. So it is a foolproof way for you to become a seasoned, wonderful Cricut crafter. Check it out, makersgonnalearn.com. As always, guys, it's been a pleasure to be here with you all today. Join us again another day for another video.